this is the one that I find the hardest to remember. So p p forgive me if I'm using prompts, but it's quite necessary because um, oops, it's a lot of songs to go through. I worked out that um, I've got a little treat in store for you as well, but it's something like 50 songs if you add everything up over the next four nights. So my memory's, you know, under strain. I'm like, I'm like a an IBM computer from 1997 being asked to run Pro Tools. It's going to be tricky. me to put two songs in the same key in the same time signature back to back on the album like two six eights and a flat key I transpose them slightly um, because that's the other thing I, I'm, I'm not wishing to pick holes in a record that for some of you is quite dear but one of the interesting things about going back and looking at work from a long time ago is um, I, became, I, I wouldn't think very much about key signatures. I would just, um, whatever key, I'd pick it up and I'd be writing in. And even if I couldn't hit the, oh, no, I would still not think about dropping the key or making the key higher or whatever. I would um, just soldier on regardless. And no, I never thought, maybe if I drop it by semitone, maybe if I put it in this key, it'll work better. I would just get horribly attached to what I was playing. Um, and. For some reason, I put two songs in E flat in six eight next to each other on the record. Bizarre. There you go. Those are sort of programming issues. Doesn't mean that the songs aren't worth playing. It's just it's interesting things you notice. I would not do that now. I would feel that they would become a bit too samey. Um, but one of the interesting things about Jeff Frustrated Superstar is I was using a lot of tunings then, a lot of which I can't remember. This song, very good song I'm about to play, it was in the tuning. It, it's like in a really odd drop, double drop D with a ninth added, but I can't for the life of me remember it, and I tried to work it out yesterday and today, and I'm afraid I've put it into standard because I can't make it work in the tuning. Um, I need, it was taught to me by a German friend of mine, Nico, who next time I see him I'll see if he can remember the tuning he taught me for it. Well, I think that's a hangover from how influenced by Joni Mitchell I was um, back then. And I didn't really have, I didn't play any bar chords either. Um, partly because of lack of technique, but also because I didn't, I liked letting the strings run open. But of late now I play loads of bar chords because I quite like the funkiness, like better than the days. <laughs> It's all about bar chords to me, that's what gives it the guitar the chunk. Um, so it's interesting revisiting old stuff because you realise that a lot of it's to do with how you played. I've waffled on enough. This is a, a song about the person who uh, rainbows about and uh, the unrequited love. It's basically, you could say that Dear Frustrated Superstar is pretty much all about one person who um, I never went out with. Such a sweet boy, very caring, eyes so beautifully white. I'm just a blood and really hunting where the pack I do it well. I only chase to pass the time. I have been desperately wondering if you want me lately. I only need to see you so
nothing scary is your nighttime habit. I want to wipe away your brow. Oh yeah, I do. Very good, sir. Get better since you love. I really enjoyed playing that song. I really enjoyed it. I haven't played it for 10 years. I don't think I've really ever played it live. Someone remind me, the last time I remember playing it was at the Borderline, almost 10 years ago. How weird. So if anyone can remember me playing it more recently, please let me know. Mr. Lucas Lee was watching, by the way. I thought you should know. Ah, hello, Mr. Lucas Lee. I, I, um... Hello, sir. Uh, Lucas has got a movie that he's just done a soundtrack for come out. It's called, is it called, no, the track's called First Glance that I'm singing in one of the tracks, but what's, I've forgotten the name of the movie. It's a really amazing documentary about um, whether to legalise or not to legalise drugs in, in, the, in South America. I mean, because South America has obviously got massive drug issues as one of the main suppliers to the rest of the world. But Lucas has done the soundtrack and it's amazing. It's very American beauty, if I may say so, in a good way. That sort of, I love Thomas Newman. It's like a, a very cool Thomas Newman. David, so, uh, David Walker's saying hello, he can't share, but he wants to say hello to everybody. Hello, hello David. Uh, have I got it right so far? I've made the odd lyrical slip. I know in Rainbow I, I used the second line instead of the first line, but yell at me, I'm, I'm trying my best here, it's a lot of information for my brain to deal there's a, with. There's a few little shout outs. Can you say hello to Brooke? Hello Brooke. Can you say hello to Brazil? Hello Brazil. The whole of Brazil. 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 <laughs> How do I say bom dia Brazil? Bom dia? Hola. No, hola Spanish. Brazil love Narina. I love Brazil even though I've never been to see you but I will come and visit you in Brazil. Um, anyway So how many songs have you actually got on this album? There's 14 in all. Jeez. 